My name is Abraham Madrandel. I'm living right now in Hamilton. Uh, this is Ontario. God just opened the door. Even myself, I, don't, I was not uh, really attending to come to live in Hamilton because I live in, in Toronto. So God just opened me the door to come to Hamilton. Seems like you gotta have something for me to do here in Hamilton. I were trying to teach the people to be fire for Jesus. That's what I'm doing right now. You know, in uh, all these 30 years I was, I was living by, uh, especially uh, my father teach me how to live by faith. And uh, I live by faith, I don't have a salary, but I believe the God whom I'm serving, he's my supplier. He supply my need all the time. For all these years, then I moved here in Canada. This is almost uh, 10 or 11 years I've been in Canada. I preach everywhere and uh, no salary, but every day God supply my needs. I never miss one thing. Always happy because I'm serving the kingdom of God. My prayer is uh, uh, the same. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. I believe the same God who did the miracle in the last in the Bible day, He is going to do again. If God is moving in different parts of the world, in Africa, in South America, in America, whatever in part of the world today, uh, I would like to see these things here in Hamilton. Because it's the same God. I want to see the hand of God move of the Holy Spirit in the church. Because we are living in the last day. God said, I will pour out my spirit upon all the flesh. Sometimes when I'm, I, I, I'm just praying, I don't see these things. I say, where is, where, is, where is the Holy Spirit? We have the churches. We have the ministers. But where is the power of God? God can heal. God can set them free. God can restore the people. God can bring people together in unity. Where is the believers? In other words, the, the fire of the Holy Spirit have left already. So now we try to do something by our own. My prayer, my passion is, let us come together and pray, seek God. Not only preach, preach, but seek God. Listen to God. What God wants us in this season, in this generation. We have to do something before Jesus comes back. That's my passion. <laughs> I want to see the Holy Spirit moving. I want to see the healing. I want to see people convert, come to accept the Jesus Christ, repent, uh, restoration. I want to see this, especially the young people everywhere in the school or the university. We want to really to see this happening among the young people and everybody who believe in Jesus. We want to see their life transform to good another dimension. That's what we want to see the Holy Spirit move. I'm nothing. Without God, I can't do nothing. But I, I'm weak. I'm, I'm, I don't know much. But I do what God gave me to do. And uh, my prayer is that let us bring all our faith together. Love together. For the Lord. And do now. Because tomorrow it will be late. The Bible says Jesus is coming. Redeem the time. The Bible says, redeem the time because the day are evil. So God called us in evil time to change evil for good. That's why we, we have a lot of things to do. My prayer is that all the pastors, my friends, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Christians, those who believe in Jesus Christ, those, those, those who are coming tomorrow, let us come together. Unity can bring the fire of God back again in the city. God bless you.